right here with the Trax CRX. Goes by a couple different names. Goes by the Warhawk because it's modeled after World War II P40 Warhawk, hence the camel green. It also goes by Jessica, following the naming scheme for all the other cars. Three syllables, a hard uh sound at the end because that will give you a headache. And today we're just kind of clearing up the Lexane. Um, it is very old. This car has been a full dedicated race car for at least the last 10 15 years of its life and recently just pulled it out of storage so getting around to restoring it trying to keep as much of the body panels on it that came with the car and we bought it and i bought it initially so this is a lot of sentimental value here from a couple different parties so i'm trying to stay true to the car how we originally got it so so far i've done just the outside driver's window and it's cleared up a lot it no longer sounds like 40 grit sandpaper running your hand over and now we're just going to get her get around to the rest of the other windows and i'll take a little tour for the car all right let's move over not sure if the camera will pick up what i mean here you can see how this one looks a lot clearer than the rest well this one's not too bad either but if you run your hand across you can definitely hear the difference. And I've gone over everything. I've cleaned all the glass off with glass cleaner. Same thing for the front. I'm just creating more swirls. You guys get the, get the idea. So we're just gonna go around and clear up the rest of the windows just so it's one last thing I have to do to the car in hopes of uh, racing it this year. So let's put you on a time lapse and see how far we get tonight the touch up on the cosmetics of it so this looks like complete shit for lack of better words because we started to sand the car down to take off all the layers of spray paint and there's also like 10 layers of colors on this as well originally it was a red 88 si and then they color changed it to white and then they color changed it to purple and then it got color changed to yellow you can kind of see the yellow coming out of the fender there and then they color changed it to a full-on camo um, with the brown, green, and the black as well, which it looked really good, but that's how we got the car and kind of wanted to individualize it towards us. So we did with the one single color, the camo green. You can see some of the camo brown coming out. And then there's also a cream color at one point. So I figured there's about a good five ten pounds of spray paint on there so we're gonna sand through all that as well and give it one clean coat of the army green and be done with it gonna do carbon kevlar fenders even though i want to stay to the original body panels that we got with the car just for better cosmetics and yep put my hand in we're gonna cut all that out and i'm looking for a carbon kevlar hood but i haven't been able to find one yet for a crx and the carbon Kevlar hood I want is USDM front with the SIR bump to kind of fit the K24. So if you've seen the car before, this is in one of the old videos on the channel as well. It was H2B at one point, and we're just gonna get with the times because for the longest I wanted to K swap it, and now I have nobody telling me no. So that's what we're gonna do. So now I'm gonna put you on the time lapse, and then we'll go around the rest of the windows, clearing it up with the clay bar kit. a good example of how cloudy the windows are that's not the camera out of focus that's just how cloudy the Lexan is so I'm sure this is pretty old so I'm gonna get around to doing this side now so the windshield came out pretty good see straight through I just gotta clean it up on the inside the inside looks uh, pretty cloudy well not cloudy but dirty and stuff so I'm gonna throw you back on the time-lapse how bad this
this is. So starting the clay, this is fresh clay we just grabbed out right from the package. Spray the window down with the quick detailer to keep the clay lubed up so it doesn't end up hurting the Lexane. So listen. So as you go, it starts to clear the area and glide smooth. That's all the stuff it removed off the glass. And there it is on the clay. So once you got it all dirty like that and gummed up, just knead it up and then get a new clean part and start back on it. All right, so I'm just gonna throw you back on the time lapse. Just want to give you guys an idea of how bad this was. Mosquitoes are on full force tonight, but we got the passenger side outer windows done. Glare kind of makes them look foggy, but I assure you they clear it up some. So if you get them like dead on, you can see straight through. Then I'm convinced this cloudiness is on the inside. So we're gonna get to that next. Uh, um, I think we're gonna move to the driver's side and get that one done and then work our way to the back windshield. Or actually, probably just do this one now. Let's get it out of the way. gonna go ahead and clean the inside of the windows see where we're at if it needs to be clay barred on the inside it probably does and if so I'll just do it tomorrow or the day after it's getting pretty late and the mosquitoes are out in full force tonight it's gonna go ahead clean this one up see what it looks like and then check in a little bit not all of the car is crusty and gross although it looks like it right now uh, the engine bay was painted right around the time the... What did happen that we took it apart? Oh, it's been so long, I don't even remember why we took it apart. There was a reason why it came apart. Um, hmm. I can't think of it. I think the distributor might have let go again, and then we pulled it apart because at the time it was going to do AM infinity, delete the alternator altogether, use one of the cam trigger sensors, from KS tuned and then just be done with the whole distributor nonsense because we already had the Honda CPR and we was using the coil packs but the distributors kept going bad because of the vibrations we was turning this H22 and to like 9300 rpm um, at the top of fourth we was over 9000 and I guess from the vibrations, it was just killing the eBay distributors and we was just going through them left and right. So we pulled it apart and then the engine bay got painted this nice metallic purple. So we're gonna clean this up real quick and then show you that it actually looks nice. <laughs> pounds of dirt off of it but one thing that I'm gonna hate is when we go to do the K mounts so we're gonna have to cut this mount off it's gonna come all the way over here we're gonna have to sand back here and this was a custom mix from the body shop that was behind where we used to store the car and the car won't be able to be matched have to get the whole thing redone again and which I really like the color 
Reminds me of an old BMX bike I used to have. And, uh, I'm not sure what color I'd want to do. Probably won't paint it either. I'll just weld the mount in and just leave it there raw. Just paint the mount up with some primer to seal it up. Just so it doesn't rust and rot up because the Hasport mounts come just raw material and they like to corrode and stuff. So I guess that's gonna do it for tonight. And that's gonna do it for tonight. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is cut the hole for the K series cables. Use the K Tune firewall grommet for that. Mount the shifter box inside. Uh, and probably start setting up the hydraulic handbrake. So, yeah, that's where we're at right now with the car. I'm not doing too, too much. So if I do get way too involved with it, I'm gonna wanna finish it for IFO. And I'm gonna pretty much just throw thousands at it to get it ready when the S2000 is just about ready and I can bracket racing to satisfy my need for racing. And yeah, if it gets done, it gets done. If not, taking the S2000. The S2000 is done. Got the slicks, gonna pick up the skinnies for it this weekend. And kind of happy where the car is right, at right now. This, I need to touch up everything. It needs everything. It has wheels to roll. That's about it. So, we'll see you next time on Mojo Garage. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And we'll see you next time.